Welcome to another edition of Fast Five. I am Scott Prather. That's Jay Walker. Let's go. Question number one. The Indiana Pacers will celebrate the 30th anniversary of Hoosiers by wearing the film's Hickory uniforms for select games next season. What's the best sports uniform from a movie? All right, first of all, that's just cool as hell that they're doing <laughs> yeah. that. Yeah. An NBA team is wearing Hickory uniforms. That's awesome. I'm going to go with the Charlestown Chiefs from Slapshot. Maybe I'm not the biggest hockey fan in the world, but if you're talking about uniforms for movies, those are as good as it gets. I'm gonna go with the Mean Machine from the original Longest Yard with Burt Reynolds. Man, when they open up the box and they pull out those black unis with the white uh, numerals and trimmed in red and it's got Mean Machine, I just thought that was huge. That's when you knew the was on. Question number two. Coach Mark Hutzpitz said he will not announce the starting quarterback until the season starts. Who will start under center for Louisiana week one in Kentucky? It'll be Brooks Hack, and you know what? Mark Hudspeth can go ahead and say, well, I haven't decided yet, and, and, and it's really still wide open. It's not. I don't think it has been for a while now. As a matter of fact, I think the only reason he hasn't announced a starting quarterback, and he kind of hinted at it, was he doesn't want Kentucky to know. He said something about college football being about deception. He's not deceiving me. It's going to be Brooks Hack. Everything he just said. The only time a HUD fooled us was more or less Terrence Broadway healing really quickly. The only time he fooled us with quarterbacks anyway. Remember in the New Orleans Bowl, we're not going to rule him out, but we all assumed Brooks would start or maybe Nixon because, well, Broadway was hurt. Then he plays less than three weeks after breaking his bone. Only time he fooled us. And that's because Broadway just had apparently supernatural healing powers. It's going to be Brooks Hack. Yep. Question number three. Louisiana's Raging Cajun football team only landed one player in the first team preseason all Sun Belt, that being Elijah McGuire. Did the coaches sell anyone short on the team? It's just preseason. Like, it's this doesn't matter. I get it. But since you asked the question, yeah, Dominic Tavell and Michael Quave, they both should have been preseason first team all Sun Belt. You can make an argument for others, but with their bodies of work heading into their senior year, looking at the other old linemen and linebackers in the league, those are first team guys. Yeah, I think they're first team guys too. The omission of Quave doesn't surprise me quite as much simply because there are just a lot of good offensive linemen uh, in the Sun Belt this year. The uh, Tovell, that surprised me. I think he's one of the top three linebackers. Question number four. The second best player on the New Orleans Saints next season will be Drew Brees. As a matter of fact, I'm not sure that he won't be the third best player on this team. Now, who's going to be number one? I don't know, but I have been saying this. I said it last year. I'm going to say it again this year. I think the guy's skills are eroding, and as a result, he'll be the number two best player on the team. I just don't know who number one's going to be. Have you been drinking? No, but we can. The guy just said Drew Brees won't be the best player on the team this year and then didn't give you number one. It's an interesting question. Who knows who number two is going to be? I'll go with Brandon Cooks, I guess. You know, uh, by all accounts, he's looking better, faster, more comfortable in the offense. They're going to need him to be the second best player on this team with Jimmy Graham gone. And uh, aside from that, you know what? Who else are you going to pick? I'll, I'll take the center. They got a new center, and, and he's going to be really good. The new center, and he can't even tell you his name. Don't really care. I'm just telling you, it ain't going to be Drew Brees at number one. He'll be number two. Max Unger will not be the best player on the Saints roster this year. Wow. Question number five. 89-year-old Angela Lansbury is just a jewel of a woman. My goodness. Do you know what she has done for, for the arts? I mean, we're talking about an honorary Oscar winner, a five-time Tony Award winner, six Golden Glows, an Olivier Award. You know, everybody talks about Maggie Smith in Downton Abbey and how great she is. Maggie Smith is awesome, but we all know she's a poor woman's Angela Lansbury. Go back and look at some of her early film appearances in the, in the mid-1940s. What, a, what an incredible actress, what a great ambassador to the world. I, I just love her. You know what, I, I, think, I think he's pretty much spot on, although I don't know if I'm gonna put her ahead of Maggie Smith, who's pretty awesome. But anyway, she is, she's a treasure. She's got something that Maggie Smith doesn't have, and that's a band named after her. And there's, there's the shirt to prove it. And so I guess that means Angela Lansbury wins. She's right up there with Molly Ringwald. I sang with this band the night they performed Murder, She Rocked. 
damn right. That's Fast Five dedicated to Angela Lansbury. I'm Scott. That's Jay. We'll see you next week for ESPN1420.com. And remember, hit subscribe.